so silly. Okay. I'm using a different camera today. A little closer. Um, I'm trying something new with my hair. Um, if you know, you know I like a lot of weird textures. I like, not weird, but I like contrasting textures. I like a twist. I like a butterfly lock. I like a box braid. Um, so I have. 72 inches of Kinecolon. I've never done my own braids. I can braid very well. I was a friendship bracelet girly, but I've never done my own braids. Um, I'm still gonna do the rubber band method because I don't hate myself. Um, I'm thinking every other row is gonna be different. So like, I'm gonna do a row in the front that's box braids and then a row in the back that's the springy twists and we'll see how I like it um normally I kind of treat these hair videos like a special like ooh. but we're just gonna treat those like a normal video like I normally do which uh, means I have to show you another thing that I purchased <laughs> I got the big cloud because like I have the little one it's like don't talk don't, don't talk to me or my little son ever again <laughs> or my giant son ever again it's so it's 11:40 at night I'm gonna put perfume on and then do my skincare I've got to find the nozzle Of course, now that I want it to spray, it's spraying very lightly. It was like spraying like big puffs. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do some skincare. Let's get started. Always, I'm using my bare minimums, which is hyaluronic acid. Um, niacinamide, I, I have to add a retinoid because I'm 25 now. Um, put dandy cream on. And then, at the top, aquifer because I'm working with hair products and hair products getting into this. I don't like, um, dry patch. Sexy. Um, I bought new hair stuff when I went and bought hair. I bought new shampoo and conditioner, which is, um, which is the Miele um, hibiscus and something. Um, smells really good. My hair feels good. Um, I'll do a, do a cheeky little, little little length check on my 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 little used to be bald journey. Um, but yeah, um, and then I got this because I got a really irritated scalp, the reason I didn't do braids right away, um, I don't know if you can see it, really weird dry patch, I are, have already been using the leave-in conditioner, when I do my braids I really enjoy it, so this is gonna be for like day-to-day -day use and then this is just... For our first attempt, but let's let's do skincare and then we'll, you know, I'll be. Uh, mm. Buddy. Hi.
The Postman takes place in a distant future year of 2013, after much of humanity has been wiped out by a plague. Kevin Costner, who also directed the movie, stars as a traveling Shakespeare performer that's conscripted to see his legion, but he escapes and finds an old mail bag full of mail and pretends to be a mailman so he will food and accidentally restarts the U.S. Postal Service in the process. Also, it's almost three hours long. Honestly, as far as post-apocalyptic adventures go, this one isn't that bad. It's not the same level of quality as Waterworld, actually. But the fact that it was a three-hour-long Kevin Costner vanity project released just a week after Titanic made it a very easy target for critics. What is Kevin Costner up to these days, anyway? Kevin Costner. Divorce! Okay, um, you saw my other hair video, um, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do the, the four in the back, three in the back. Where's my bowl of oils? Ugh. My boiled, if you will. Ew. Ew. Will I look at a mirror? No. I have a mirror big enough now. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Trixie, meet with us. Needs a ring light on it. <laughs> I gotta get my old ring light. Snap it to... Ugh. Snap it to the mirror so I can see. Um, Telly ties. They're making satin Telly ties, and I want one so bad. Um, but I don't think my local Telly tile retailer sells them. So, yeah, let's. Let's do this, I guess. Oh, I'm already exhausted. Blech.
that, well, these are the only other low games, and boy howdy, I wish I had some ones to clean, like Let's Go, so I could have... <laughs> Sorry, that, that's... Whew, I'm... This is the hardest part. I do, I say that, like, the twisting isn't really difficult after, like, it's just repetitive. Um, like... I look at how like weirdly healthy my hair is and I never know what to do with it. Am I sure it, it's too humid is what the problem is. Is that like right now it is too humid for me to do anything with my hair. And then it's too like I just can't I can't straighten my hair yet because it's too humid. And then this takes like five business days. I'm just looking at myself in the aquifer. I, ugh. Branch. Look at all these little baby twists. I feel like this is a reasonable amount of braids and twists that I'm asking myself to do with these kind of smaller ones in the front and bigger ones in the back because who cares? Like, no one's gonna send me to hair gel. No one's gonna bully me. I don't care if my hair is weird. That kind of weird. Because, what are you gonna do? my ass drive to my house fight me in the Denny's parking lot no you're gonna leave a comment that I'm gonna laugh at with my friends okay let's finish parting this side have a little There's no reason not to use fur free, although how is an exception since our newly evolved core cat, you know, the Star and cotton. Okay. Let's do something very silly goose. Let's look up how to do a butterfly twist. Because you can do butterfly locks and distress locks with this, and I obviously do twists, but Why not? I like weird textures. I like it when my hair feel. I don't. Okay. I like it when my hair is freshly done and feels like something. I like it when it looks like something. However, um, I don't like it when after the couple of days, I don't like the way that feels. It feels incorrect. So let's do an easy butterfly bob locks tutorial. Uh. 
How bad is it gonna be that I'm not washing my hair before I put it in my head? I'm gonna put the cream, the soothing balm in. Let's just let me read the instructions first. Mm. No, I just, I'm, I'm looking at it and it's not what I'm in the mood for. So let's get a little weird little pieces together. Um, I think I'm probably going to only end up using about one pack of hair from each thing. I really don't have a lot of braids on my head this time. So it isn't a super... I don't, I don't really have a lot of hair, to, I don't have a lot of braids to put the hair on. Also, I feel like, oh my god, Megan, you normally do the same hair color twice, at least. Um, I didn't put my hair away properly, my bad. Um, and a child got into the room where my hair is stored, and he made it into a red rat's nest. So, so I can figure out how to make that usable again. No red hair for now. Rip summer of red hair. She's slain, even though I did not film a lot of the red hair. I can sweep up the rest of the steam and wear out fairy wind and easy to figure for me without any sweat on our brows. Not driving any new hours yet, though. Just charging straight in the route five for a first battle against Gladian, who's easily swept with heads up stamps and poultry again. Failing to, excuse me, Zorua. Zubat and Titan all made easier thanks to some clinching. Though looking back on it, I, it was totally doable even if I didn't get a single clinch. But now that we have access to the water trial, I figured we'd get one more encounter back on Cloud 4 in Mud Ray. It's not quite useful yet, but certainly will be with Kiali's trial coming up shortly. I'll be training this in max attack as well as a split in defense and special defense, since there's no way on which they speedy these in a Pokemon who's a vault form with a base 35 speed. See what I mean about the rolling Pokemon having a poop for speed? Thanks for arriving it in the water trial, though. This is actually a bit easier than expected, thanks to, you guessed it, for Fru. Not exactly a solo fight, though, but Headbutt easily rips through half of the things. I just want to remind everyone that there's supposed to be a media blackout in place, so if you're hearing it in the trades, it came from the AFA, not the WGA. I think we can all agree that it would be nice if the AFA stopped playing around in the trades and sat down to actually make a deal. How long did I go with? Where's the blank? What do you think? 
24 inches, so that's 12. These are going to be kind of short. So when I went to go look at my other hair before I packed that one up, um, it appears that the only black hair I have in house is in the length of Bob and Super Bob. Um, I was really looking forward to having like kind of long hair because this is 72 inches. Um, but here we are. I don't have the hook anyway. Um, what? I'm having like since I got home, I've just been having like flashbacks to um like Kanekalon smells like like Barbies and like summers in Baltimore. Oh, ah, ah, girl. This is so ponytail. break everything up um I feel like like but I feel like the the other twists were like training wheels and then this is like fucking go time um where are my hair scissors something just happened Someone cooked here. Um, because I don't need 72 inches. 36 inches half would be 18. So, if I just cut this ponytail in half, I can make, I, but I kind of want longer hair. Let's chill. Let's take a moment and just figure out how we're going to break this up. Again, there's not a lot of hair. I don't got a lot of hair on my head. Sometimes I watch other people like make their own blends and I'm like, how do they do that? Because I'm working with the kinky stuff. Hold up, hold up. This is for you. This is for you. As a person who's very stressed out by hair, this is definitely not for me. Okay. Pinch of hair. then people don't want to buy them. Because at this point, most families with little girls have a ton of Barbie clothes. So you don't want to have to buy a new doll and then have to buy a whole new line of clothes for that doll. It's the reason why there are so many Barbie clones who are exactly Barbie size. It's kind of hard for us to imagine now because we have a lot of dolls in different doll lines with diverse body shapes and completely like different size bodies. So dolls can't really share clothing across brands anymore. But it was a completely different world back then. I mean, I remember even from my childhood in the late 90s and early 2000s. So Jim...
I hate doing braids. I think I think that's what we've learned. Is that I hate I hate doing my own braids. Oh my god. Not I, I, I don't like like I don't like the way hair feels. Like this is documented. And so here I am having to feel the hair. Prison. Prison jail. And I know I can't get better unless I practice. I will practice on literally anything. Oh my God. I'm gonna braid that man's beard. Braid that man's beard. <sighs> Rip. Um, I don't have my hair scissors. I don't know where she went, to where they're gone. Um, but. Yeah, that's fine. Um. So after I failed, um, I went back to my normal hair routine. Um, I really like the parting on this. Um, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I just didn't film. I just, I, I think I was meant to film a different outro for this because I think the hair that comes from this is in the next video, but we're not a hundred percent on that. Um, but yeah, it's three o'clock in the morning at that point. Um, the diabetes is getting to me. My I got the sugars, so I, I had to uh, take some of my emergency Tic Tacs. Um, this hair actually turned out really good. Um, I wore it a lot longer than I should have. Um, this had to have been September because October I was getting ready for the wedding. I don't know, um, but. That's my hair looking very, my parts 
are kind of their parting's weird, but it's like pretty good. I don't know where the end clips are. Maybe there are no end clips. It doesn't matter. Um, the hair turned out really cunty, um, despite me being brain dead and doing like huge chunk parts and not knowing how to braid properly. I'll learn how to do feed and braids one day. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Megan underscore blush underscore. Um, and Megan underscore blush underscore. Yeah. And you know, I'm going to be, I'm good at makeup. Terrible at hair. She, uh, I've been doing the same hairstyle for a damn near a year and still and finding new ways to fuck it up. But that's like life, man. Um, you can see how I do it the proper way in my hair playlist. And you can see how I style it in various shorts and other clips of my videos. Check those out. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Bye.